So now let us see how we can work with the zoom area inside of Adobe Captivate. So to work with zoom area, first of all, I'm going to bring in an image right over here. So let me bring in something like this. So I'm just going to resize this out so that I can fit it out into this area right over here. So let's say what I want to do is I want to zoom over uh, this object right over here in a certain point of time. For that, what I can use is I can use the zoom object right over here. So I can just go to object and over here you can see that there's zoom area. So let me just click on that. And over here, you get a box as you can see. So this is how it'll seem as it zooms out. So I can hold shift to actually zoom out like that. I can go over here and drag this uh, box and this box is what zooms in. For example, if I were to go over here, you can see that that is the object which is zooming in right over here. I can go over here and change the formatting as well. For example, I can change the opacity right over here. I'm just going to keep zero opacity right over here. I can also add in a new image over here, uh, just like that as well, but that does not fulfill the purpose of the zoom. So I'm just going to press control Z. Uh, you can also change out the fill colors right over here, as you can see, but usually when you work with opacity and choose colors, it'll come into play like that, as you can see. So I'm just going to go for zero. Let me just add in a stroke over here. So I'm going to add in a bit of a uh, heavy stroke right over here, like 10, and you can see the zoom effect right over there. So now let's see how this actually looks like. If I were to go to timeline, now I have added in zoom right over here. It can be in the beginning as well. So you can see that there's a zoom. I can add it in the beginning itself as well, as you can see. So if I were to preview this, play the slide, it does not seem uh, anything right over here. So I do need to preview it out uh, right over here. So you might have something like this in the beginning. So let me just preview the project and let's see how that looks like. So if I have to press play, you can see that the zoom effect actually takes into place and there's an animation over there accompanying it as well. So let me just increase the size right over here, just like that. And I'm going to change the zoom over here as well. And let's see how everything looks like now. So let me just go over here, change up the image as well, right over here. And I'm going to preview this and preview the project right over there. And let's see how everything looks like. So you see the picture and then in a while, you'll be seeing the zoom just like that. And that is how the zoom effect actually works out. So you can go over here, right over here, and you can also go around and work with the timing. So by default, it's around three seconds, as you can see. So you can also change out the timing from right over here, and you can see the change happening right over here. Zoom for 1.5 seconds. So let's say I want to do 0.5 seconds only, and appear after 2.5 eight seconds is right over here according to how I dragged in. As I drag in, you can see that there's teens. You can also work with transitions, like I want it to fade in and fade out. So I'm just going to add that in. So let's say fade in about 0.2 seconds and fade out about 0.2 seconds right over here, just like that. So once I do that, what I can do is I can preview this out and let's see how everything looks like. So if I were to press play, you'll be able to see now it actually will look a bit different. There's a bit of a fade right over there, just like that, and it disappears as well. So you got zoom, so you want to like zoom in, show in some information about something, then this is very much interesting to work with. So that is how you can use with the zoom area tool, uh, an object inside of Adobe Captivate. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.